Alright, let's play this game here. It says Moe's frustrated in Minnesota as well. I can't blame him. Freaking team's blowing right now. I gotta get out of here. Hopefully, well, it's just dumb rumor. <laughs> Most I want to get off this freaking team. I don't want to be here anymore. No, no. And the Pelicans making the final preparations. All right. Welcome, everyone. This is what you've been waiting for. The NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Park Kimmel, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. We've got a chance now for our starting lineups from point. Kevin Love seven. never wins those. And guys, taking All right, here we go. Evans, what are your thoughts on him? Well, I think the biggest strength for Evans is his penetration and finishing ability. He's a strong kid. Okay, let's miss this, Anthony. Ah. Into the lane, and then that strength allows him to get to the basket and finish. And the creativity as a finisher, really, really impressive. Not to mention the strength. I mean, that's a lethal. All right, let's go. He can finish with power or go finesse on you. The New Orleans Pelicans preparing to defend home court in this Western Conference battle. Last time they met was. Come on, so we can get open. Beat the Timberwolves. Tied 1 1 after the win. We'll see who can get the edge. And a very confident performance offensively, I think. Really. Ah. Uh. This team clicks. I mean, when they're communicating and executing, sharing the ball, they're tough to beat. And Steve, you gotta love there we go. performance on the road. I mean, to be a great team in the NBA, you have to be able to have that kind of performance. Go in, you stupid thing. Oh, my goodness. About freaking time. Well, this season, a new mascot, new team colors, and a brand new state of the art 50,000 square foot practice facility for the Pelicans. It's not just a new paint job, folks. This is a franchise doing some exciting stuff. Here's Morrow, averaging nine points per contest. Back to Holiday. Here's Davis, and they uh. last on a tip number three. Minnesota with the ball. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. And I think the sort of issues they had on defense, in part at least, is a bigger factor. Really compounded, I think, because it was on the road. You Back at you. Sharper when you go out and play as a visitor. Yeah, everything has to be tight. You can't be loose in any aspect of your game. You're fighting against the crowd and the opponent. You've got to be tougher, mentally and physically, if you're going to win on the road. Here's Evans after the made shot from nice. Minnesota takes possession. And Clark, you mentioned the new colors for the Pelicans. No longer the purple, teal, and gold of the Hornets, but blue, gold, and red from the city flag of New Orleans. Steve looks pretty good. It does look good. And remember the other connections. I mean, the blue is featured on the... Oh, my goodness. He got freaking stuffed. Think about the connection to the plumage of the brown pelican, which I've studied for years. And, and of course, red. I mean, the red represents... I have no idea what red represents. But... <laughs> now here's Evans. He's coming off a 16-point uh. game against Atlanta. Yeah, he picked his spots in that game, too, Kevin, because I thought he, he not only did a nice job scoring, but setting up his teammates as well. Here is Love. After Drew Holiday's score... Left side, Love passes it to Money. Uses the there we go. To finish the layup. Money's got six. Nice pass. That one was right on target. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Kevin, I was able to speak momentarily with Monty Williams. The one player on his mind in this matchup, Kevin Love. And it's not for his scoring ability, but for the harm he can do to a team on the backboards. You saw what he can do to teams if he goes on check, Coach said. We don't want to let him get up Dang it. get over 20 or 30 rebounds on us. And to do that, right. we gotta check him out each time a shot goes up. Guys, easier come on, come on, man. All right, Doris. And here is Brewer after the three-pointer for Mark. 
And Brewer kicks to Martin. Oh, man. Smith outside. And there's the feed to Holiday. Back to Smith. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist. Dang it, man. Team's starting to really suck. For the New Orleans Pelicans, their last game a loss to the Atlanta Hawks. And it wasn't just bad shooting. The native weren't getting good looks. The, the offense wasn't clicking. No ball movement. Very stagnant performance. Yeah, I agree. The reason for that, I think, was their movement away from the ball. Not very crisp. Now, here's Rubio. No scoring hit from him, but that's likely to change. Money. Played right in. Nice there we go. Well, that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active, be energetic, and react as soon as the shot goes up. And Holiday kicks tomorrow. Back to Holiday. The pass to Evans. Shot clock at six. Off his leg. And the refs. Ah, kick the ball. Some changes for Minnesota. Nikola Bekovic is checked in for love. Muhammad comes in for Corey Brewer. And it's Alexi Shved in for Martin. Here's Holiday. He had a 12 point outing in the Mine. first game against Atlanta. Six to shoot. Here's the floater. And then uh, the man. Holiday's got his second bucket tonight. You know, he didn't need to make the layup complicated. I mean, it's not a trick shot contest. But he decided to go for a little extra flavor on that one. Here's money. Rejected by Aminu. Here's Pekovic. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. You know, he's really adept at keeping possessions alive by hitting the boards and or cashing in on some of those putbacks. And you know what? He's a guy who will put some wood on you now. He'll throw his weight around. Bodying him up play after play can really wear you down. Out of bounds. Right. Minnesota takes possession. And a look at the top single season player efficiency ratings. I love this statistic. Wilt Chamberlain, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and we've got some more modern talent representing as well. Yeah, you're talking the elites of the game when you go down that list. Interesting to see a, a new school stat kind of juxtaposed with uh. the old school legends. But yeah, the, the rankings obviously make sense if those guys are at the top. Rebound, Minnesota. I thought he rushed it a little bit, guys, because he had a clean look, just lost his focus. Shved the pass to Calderon. Here's money covered by Evans. Stolen by Evans and a fast break now for the Pelicans. And he gets it to so one thing where my dude sucks horribly is ball handling. You know they're gonna be scattered. The floor is open. Take care of business. Yeah, that's right. So you push it. That's the best opportunity for points on the break. This lead, I think, is headed north. Here's money. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. The Timberwolves have had two chances at the line. Dang it. Well, impressive free throw shooting as a team this season, uh, right around that 78% that mark. And guys, that's really an upgrade over how they shot last season. Not a huge upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. Catching up on the changes for New Orleans. Steve All right. checked in for Withy. Lance Thomas comes in for Tyreek Evans. And Brian Roberts subbed in for Drew Holiday. That's tipped. Aminu dishes to Rivers. in time dang it oh we didn't get it up good and now the second quarter just getting set to start all right let's go let's look at the energy stats how the hustle game has been going for new orleans but great hustle uh, defensively through two quarters of play contesting everything Starting to rack up those block shots, guys. The other thing <laughs> I pushed them right over. Yeah, on my way. On the court for Minnesota. Money, he's in at the four spot. Martin is out there with Mo Williams. Then there's Brewer. And it's Johnson in a Yeah. And let's get Mo. There we go. Doris, over to you. Well, guys, Money in the last outing against the Thunder was just a man on a mission. 
He finished with 19 points and played some lockdown defense as well, causing havoc on both ends of the floor. This was the latest chapter in what has been a stretch of very good outings for him. Will we see another one tonight, Kevin? Appreciate it, Doris. Thanks. Well, we've seen a lot of great players have a lot of great games, but that, that Clark was something special. Kevin, it really was. I mean, they threw everything but the kitchen sink at him. Nothing slowed him down. Well, let's just say he was... At bench. And they're going to beat us, be beating us by 20. Oh, uh, they're winning, surprisingly. And that's a foul called on money. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. Oh, he got hacked on the three-pointer. He'll head to the line. Ah. Let's see the stat sheet here on Tyreek Evans. Some good work from him over the last 10 games. He's putting up 18 points and <clears throat> six assists and four rebounds. And he's been passing the ball like a virtuoso. Uh, that's what really stands out to me about his recent performance. Well, you think about his intelligence and court vision. Both are outstanding. Those numbers are hardly a shock, as excellent as they are. Now the free throw is good, now leading by one. Minnesota's gone along perfectly from three-point range. Tonight, they've gone five for five. And it's Rubio penetrating. Pass to Money. Back to Rubio. Correa, the pass to Money, stolen by Rivers. 139 left here in the second. If he gets the bucket. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. <laughs> yeah, and it's a strategy that has served them well in this opening half, Clark. Money passes to Borea. And count it. Nice. A chance for one more at the free throw line. He wasn't phased at all by the bigger man on him. On the low block, I thought he Yeah, made. three points. You know, Steve, I thought maybe he'd prefer to bring him out to the perimeter, but whatever works, go to it. Lexi Schved, he's checked in for Minnesota. Holiday attacking. And yes, sir, that one drops. Holiday's got four this quarter. Well, he's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting the ball to the rim. Dishes to Pekovic. Passes it to Money. And he banks there we go. Money's got the game tied up here for the Timberwolves. Boy, he made a nice little bounce pass there. We call that the pocket pass, and he did it well. And Holiday kicks to Evans. The dish to Rivers. With he passes to Evans. Inside. And ah. goes through once again. Nice it there from Withy. Withy's got six. What a floor leader he's been at the offensive end. You know, he's done a terrific job of moving the ball around, sharing it. Boing. Right in that net. Right there. Nice pass. Great catch. Beautiful finish. Holiday attacking over to the left wing. Rivers dishes to Holiday. Shot clock at six. Shoots again. Wow. Sunk that one. Today he set a good example for the rest of his teammates. And Rubio kicks to Berea. And a tight game here as we. Yes, guys, I'm here with Anthony Davis and Anthony. And now, brought to you by Sprint. And it's the Sprint halftime report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back to New Orleans. A look here at the Mississippi River Delta. What a game we've seen here for money. He's got 13 points, and he's made three shots at the foul line. Well, that's important. I mean, get to the foul line. Any team, uh, when you can outscore your opponent from the foul line, uh, it's critical, and he's trying to do his part right there. Davis and Smith together down low. Holiday out there with Anthony Morrow, and it's Evans in at the three, the small forward. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. You know, they haven't been able to open up a big lead, but the rebounds are starting to add up for them. They may be able to pull away a little bit. Yeah, they've been doing the dirty work inside, Steve, playing a very tough brand of basketball. Some teams live and die by the three. Let's check out the best. In fourth, the Timberwolves. That's been an amazing season for them from behind the arc. They've got some great shooters on that team. Rubio, the pass to Money. Go, 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 go. 
and he was camped in the lane. Oh, bull crap. Over the last month, let's see, Kevin, where the Timberwolves stand in the league ranking. First in field goal percentage. First and fewest turnovers per game. And they're number one in opponent scoring. They don't allow teams to get into a rhythm offensively, and thus they're able to hold those points down. And the shooting is really what stands out to me. This is a team that, that does such a good job of finding open looks. They're unselfish. They work offensively to create good shots. And when they do that, they're on their game. They're tough to beat. Rubio with it. Evans picks him up. Here's Money. He's got 13. No luck. Great D that time from Davis. Great defense in the paint there, making it tough on the offense. That's what he brings, a presence. I mean, you saw it on that miss. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Holiday dishes to Davis. Tries from 10, and the basketball. Jeez. Morrow's got the first points in the second half here for the Pelicans. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Hi, Kevin. I was able to hear the advice Rick Adelman gave to his team during that break. He wants defending against the fast break to become their priority, saying, quote, let's worry less about offensive rebounding and more about getting back on defense. Also, he wants them building a wall around the rim defensively and forcing shots to come from the perimeter, not in the paint. Probably a good time to make some changes with a good chunk of the second half still to go, Kevin. Thanks again, Doris. And Holiday kicks to Smith. The shot is off. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. They'll be playing host to Portland for their next game. And that game will kick off a four-game homestand. Rubio, the pass to Money. Back to Rubio. The pass to Money. To tie. That's good. It's Rubio there we go. with the assist. Money's got the game tied up here for Minnesota. You know, guys, I think back to some of the most exciting passers ever to play the game. Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, the late Keith Maravich come to mind. I think Rubio is of that ill. You think about those guys, they weren't just great assist guys, but they were able to give you assist that had some flair and some flavor to it. They get it back. Love. Davis with the ball. God dang it, Kevin Love. Minnesota will retain possession. A moment now to look at the all-time list for blocks in a season. Seven foot four, marking with five and a half blocks a game. Wow. <laughs> that, that is a ridiculous number, Kevin. Uh, Eaton was a two-time defensive player of the year. Just a fourth-round pick out of UCLA. Back in Come on, Kevin Love. Jeez. And Rubio really took the league by storm, Steve, with this passing. Deft moves, working through defenses, uh, almost eyes in the back of his head. He was terrific. Brilliant passing. I mean, it, he makes some passes that other people just wouldn't even be able to see. And just a phenomenal, uh, entertaining player to watch. Very flamboyant. Some big points there. I mean, they got him on a nice play to get the ball right to the bucket. That's what they're looking for down the stretch, Clark. More of the same. Get it inside. Holderone dishes to Martin. Feeds it to Brewer. Five to shoot. Good on the triple. Okay, there we go. Brewer's got six points. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. Holiday against Calderon. And Holiday, here we go. Puts up the baby hook. And a Kevin Love. Oh my god. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. Williams, he's checked in for Kevin Martin. Timberwolves trail by three. Williams passes to Money. Let's it fly. And again, it's Minnesota. He's having quite the quarter here, guys. I mean, shooting the ball extremely well. And Holiday kicks to Evans. Thomas is screen on Colder. Nice shot by Evans. Evans has got his second basket of the night. You know, when he's in that tight and with that kind of height advantage over the defender, that's going to be a pretty easy play for him. 
Calderon passes to Money. A shot's good on the assist by Calderon. And that's 21 points for Money. Well, he's a really difficult cover because if he gets anywhere near the rim, he can finish. Great strength. The ability to convert in the lane. Boy, that's, that's tough to defend. And applies even if he has to absorb contact getting to the rim. And his man straight into that screen to open the lane up for the hoop. Calderon for three. And a nice game. shot. With the triple. And we've seen a few mix-ups defensively out there on the perimeter. More than a few. I mean, the open looks they've allowed from long range have turned into a lot of points. Ball's knocked loose. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. And now we bring you the rookie leaderboard, featuring the NBA first-year players who have been dominant on the glass. Ah, Jackson Ellis. You look at money, a terrific rebounder, fifth overall. Well, he's been playing some very determined basketball lately, and it's definitely showing up through those rebounding numbers. Yeah, he's got a sandpaper quality to his game, Steve. Gritty and uh, friction causer. Hang it. Feels like a flip has been switched at halftime because both teams now really getting after it. And it's been a fun half of basketball, Steve. Calderon kicks to Brewer. And again, the basket is good for Money. Yes, Money's got the game tied up here for Minnesota. Guys, he's one of the main reasons this game is tied up. I mean, he's done his part to keep them in it. Here's Holiday. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Holiday's got 12 points in the game. I don't know what's happening to their defense. They don't have any effort, any purpose. And it's really costing them. I mean, the last five baskets at that end have been on very easy looks. Here's money, and again it's Minnesota. He is yeah. this place on fire, fellas. His shooting has been off the charts. Ooh, he almost made it. It's a tie game in New Orleans. Monday, February. And let's quickly have a look at the State Farm assist of the game, which came Steve from an unlikely source here. Yes, yeah, the big fella here doing his best impression of a point guard, ser <laughs> serving up a, a brilliant feed here. That's gorgeous. On the court for Minnesota, Rubio and Martin manning the back. Money out there with Brewer, and it's Love in at the pivot, manning the middle. They grab their own miss, Smith, and that's a foul. Dang it. Boy, that is a tough call. What the heck? I don't even know what I picked. He doesn't want to compound it any further by saying too much to the official. Yeah, you don't want to get a T. What the freak? Oh, I must have argued with him. God dang it. That sucked. I must have argued by accident. <laughs> Had the end. Yeah, I think so. They would. Jose, congratulations on the win here. Dang it, I argued by accident. Oops. Locker room after the game. Nice win, fellas. You missed a crazy ending out there, dog. I thought it was all over, but then you got tossed and fired us up. Yeah, man. I'm glad nice something work. good came out of it. Y'all was not happy being back here while y'all were out there taking care of business. My man, don't worry about it. Thanks, man. Probably get suspended, but I'm about to get traded anyway, so screw this team. You got ejected tonight for arguing a ah, foul call against up. you. Can you tell us what that was all about? Well, can I say I mashed the X button and I didn't mean to? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it doesn't make sense. Man, if it made any sense to me, I'd probably still be out there. 
I mean, do any of you guys got any ideas where those calls were coming from? I mean, I was trying to figure it out, and apparently you can't do that because it got me ejected from the game. <laughs> Whatever. Live and learn, I guess. Well, it's gonna get me ejected, or suspended. <laughs> well, it's been a few days, so where do things stand now? Still want to be traded? Because remember, if we go down this road, there's no turning back. Oh yeah, heck yeah. Get me off this yeah, freaking I'm, team. I'm Everything, right. Things are getting uh, ugly down here in Minnesota. Right. I'll see what I can do. But you need to know I'm not going to make a move just for the sake of making a move. I need to ensure it's in the best interest of this organization. I can't promise anything, but why don't you let me know what teams you're interested in? There's the Nuggets. There's the Nuggets. Hello, oh, yeah, the Thunder. Yeah. And the Heat. I'll take the Heat. What's good freaking teams? Who else is good? Well, I already picked some good teams. Okay. If I can find something that makes sense, you'll get your wish. Just make it happen. Thanks. I'm not gonna record another video for now. Maybe next time, hopefully, I'll be traded.